everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stocks Rush reviewing Tesla. Tesla is earnings out tonight. I would say of all the things that are out this week, this month, July, this is the big one. Every single person is going to be watching this, even if you're not in this long or short, even if you're not in it at all. Everyone's going to be watching this. Again, everyone has their own take on this. And it's funny because, again, if you look at the cost of the options, on the put side and the call side, they, I mean, again, they're very expensive doing them into earnings. I just want to, I'm not in this because I don't know what the earnings are going to do. And I don't even know if I'm going to trade it tomorrow, but it may not be a good gap. That's, you know, again, the nice thing about gaps is when I see the gap, that's when I do the rating. That's when I determine where it's going to go. So if I trade it, it'll be tomorrow. And again, the price of the options are so overinflated going into the earnings in both directions, but actually, let me fix this here. Um, let's just look at the daily. I mean, this could do anything. It's been so long since the stock made new highs. It's crazy, actually. 2021? It's hard to believe. But it has been on a tear. It started, I want to say, yeah, it was like beginning mid-June-ish. I mean, it just went on a tear. It's done, it's almost basically went straight up. You could have even said it was almost like panic buying here. Remember this? I mean, we, we were long this, we did calls this, we, we made money in this, we did day trades, we traded it. In fact, the high up here was 271. Tried to get up to that 275 and it couldn't do it. So this has ripped higher in the last four or five weeks. And it is, this could be, and, and I don't know what it does. I'm just saying this could be an earnings surprise. What I mean, it could do something completely insane, meaning it could gap up completely insane and actually then start to make its way up like it's going to make a new high between now and the end of the year. Or it could bomb, bomb and gap down in the earnings and completely tank, fall off a cliff, in which case then it would also bring the market down with it. So... This will affect the market. Let's look at the market quick. So we're losing it here in the market. Now we're starting to fall, but we're not really going to go much of anywhere till four. So tonight is about Tesla for me to really watch what happens here. It's after the close, but this could be an earning surprise because it could do something very unexpected and very, very big. The direction is an unknown, which is why I'm not in it. I'm not in anything in this, and no one should be because you don't know. Nobody knows. But I'll be watching it tonight, and then I'll determine if I'm going to trade it tomorrow after I rate it. So the rating system, that's the point of learning the rating system. That takes the pressure off. You know, that rating system leads me in the right direction, okay? There's nothing that you can do um, that can tell you what the earnings are going to do on this. I want to see what is going to happen after the gap happens then i read it so that's what tells me and helps me get conviction to take the trade whether long or short and i don't know what this is, is. that's what this i don't know what this is going to do that's what i'm saying but i'm for sure going to read it so good luck everybody good luck tessa see you tonight